million Negroes, mass grave for Indians to get every land that they took, they murdered. That was just one and four. Thank you, brother. There's no truth there. There's no knowledge of God. Habakkuk 1 and 4. Read that. I need you to hold that. Hold that. Habakkuk 1 and 4. Thank you, brother. There's no knowledge of God here, man. We need a spiritual phenomenon amongst our people. Amongst any people of God. It doesn't matter what your race is. All nations can serve the nation. I mean, the God of Israel. But you will have respect and reverence God's people. Because we've been disrespected for too long. We hope you know what happens in an ungodly, satanic world. Habakkuk 1 and 4, read that. Read it. Habakkuk 1 and 4. Therefore the Lord slept and dug into his mother go forth. Read that again. Therefore the Lord slept and dug into his mother go forth. The Lord slept. Do you follow the laws of God here? And no judgment go forth. Read. Do the wicked do compares about the righteous. Therefore, wrong judgment proceeded. You see that? Because the wicked outdo the righteous. Therefore, you see nothing but wickedness. If you have homosexuals running everything, sooner or later, they'll convince you that being a homosexual is okay. Because they're paying for your TV, your media. They're paying for your, for your judges. It makes me sick when I look and see brothers with star face, have star face uh, uh, tattoos on them, Al Pacino tattoos and shirts with star face on them. To promote murder. What's his name? Tony Montana. He was out of his mind. Just stuff out of his mind and brothers reverence him like he's Jesus Christ. And they made that movie at a, at a particular time when they was moving the crack movement within our neighborhoods. Then every brother wanted to be our Pacino. Every, let me tell you, that's every crack dealer's anthem. And it's only a movie. They programmed you to kill yourself. And they promote this wickedness amongst you. And the wicked surpass the righteous. We're now living in a world that if you're righteous, you don't even have a voice, man. People don't, don't even want to hear you if you're trying to tell people what's right. Read. Behold, ye among the heathen, in regard and rather right modesty, for I will work a work in your days, which you will not be believed. The Lord says he's going to work a work in your day that you will not believe. And you know what? You're looking at the work that's being worked right before your eyes. The same people you've oppressed, the same people you threw in jail, the same people you thought were degenerates, the most eyes rise in them right before you, and you're looking at your next leaders. That's what you're looking at. You think Barack Obama is something. Okay? <laughs> you think he's something. The most high going to raise a nation way greater than Barack Obama. They will not sell out to the system. Read on. I will work and work in your days, which you will not believe. They will be told you. They will be told you. The same people that, that, that you look at as crack dealers, no good people, robbers, no good for nothing, the same men will be the governors of this earth forever under Christ. Sounds, sounds like some type of phenomenon or some type of uh, impossible story. But the Most High always deal with the underdog. He always dealt with the people that you thought had no strength. Because if it comes to your strength, then you know it's not of God. So he'll use the face of this earth. He'll use the lowest of this earth to show his power. And it's working as we speak. All the lies they promoted since we've been over here, they'll spend billions of dollars to keep, keep this information that we're actually the children of Israel. 
and yet we still found out. That's a phenomenon. They paid these preachers all this money to lie to you and pass down to you the same religion that came over with your slavery. But yet we still found out. They paid Arabs to come over here and set up stores and roads and mosques to teach you that you are beneath the Arabs. And yet we still found out. That we are the children of the Most High. That we are the children of Israel and we're back. And we're back. We're not going nowhere. The Most High say, if they can measure the heaven above and the earth beneath, then he will cast off Israel from being his people. And I don't know anyone that can measure the heavens. <laughs> we will be here. But Lucifer in the Gentiles rule, your time is up. That's what we gotta let you know. Babylon is wrong. This place can't go on the way it is anymore. I mean, if the most I allow this place to go on for another 15, 20 years, you will have gay marriage as a law and a natural law being taught in America. If the most I let this thing go on another 20 years. Our children will grow up and think that a man being with a man is normal. And a woman being with a woman is not. That's madness. Let us read what you have on the, on the heathen inhabitants. God wants that. Read. Go away. I will raise up the Chaldeans, the bitter and hasty nation, which shall march through the breadth of the land, to possess the dwelling places that are not theirs. They are terrible and dreadful. Their judgment and dignity shall proceed of themselves. For the most are going to use the Middle Easterns. Who you think it's been who he says, the Persians. What's his name? Ab Ab Aminadab? Ab Aminadab, right? He's going to use the president of Iran to do a serious work. He's going to use North Korea to do a serious work. And we're going to show you blow by blow according to the scriptures what's going to happen. And we're going to give you a chronological order of what's going to happen here. And you're going to find it. This is very end of all this. A nuclear holocaust. You think the most likely he's going to send judgment on modern day Babylon, Egypt, and Sodom and Gomorrah. I don't know about you, man, but we're tired of this unrighteousness in this, in this earth, man. And how it's affecting our people. We're tired of it. But let's go through it. Go back to where you are in Hosea. And see, a lot of you are looking at it and saying, well, hold up, man. Why do these guys are so young? What can they know? The Most High said, through the mouth of babes, he shall speak to our people. The older people then gave up. They broke you. They broke you. The greatest point of our civilization here in America was during the Civil Rights Movement when they were afraid, the government were afraid that we would all come together and started pushing heroin and the elite of our people they gave high high jobs to sell you to sell you to the same system that destroyed you so you had your chance in the 60s and 70s they were afraid those concentration camps they about to reopen they built them in the 60s man they were afraid back then that our people would rise but they found out that your elite can be born They built Jesse Jackson, man. They built Reverend Al Sharpton. They had to get rid of Martin because they couldn't buy him. They had to get rid of Martin because Martin could revolutionize not only the country but the world. And they said no black man should have that much power that come from the children of slaves. Examine this for a second, man.